everyone and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you guys the what they don't tell you about a transplant i'm specifically going to be speaking on my experience i'm a kidney transplant patient for those who don't know and i'm soon going to be two years post transplant on february 2019 so i'm super excited i wanted to make this video because i feel like it would be very helpful to anybody that is going or thinking about getting a transplant or anybody that's fairly new into their transplant. But before we continue guys, I want to quickly encourage you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly videos as well as don't forget to turn on your push notifications and please if you guys find this video helpful, please give it a huge thumbs up. So let's begin. to mention to you guys was that I wasn't aware about a stent being placed. I found out two days before my pre-op appointment and it wasn't even them telling me I was asking them because I saw a poster hanging on the wall and I saw like a little line connected from the kidney to the urethra and I asked them what was this because I saw the vein one and then I saw like a white extra one and they told me that it was a stent and that I needed to have one placed. The day of the surgery and I was fine with it I was pretty cool with it until they told me that I had to get it removed six weeks after my transplant and when they told me that I was like okay that's fine I was cool with it too and then I asked them am I gonna be asleep and they were like no you have to be awake for the procedure and literally that's when the fear came in about the whole stent and I do have a video about it speaking about my experience and about the removal I'll link it down below so you guys can see it. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. It is painful, but it's very quick. So it's temporary pain. And honestly, everything passes. Things pass. And like, like I always say, I always say to myself, pain is a state of mind and it's temporary. You're not in pain forever. So as long as you guys go through those little 30 seconds of pain, you'll be fine. Another thing that they don't go into huge detail with, which I'm going to kind of go into a little bit of detail with you guys, is the whole side effects. They mention the side effects because we all know that every medication is going to have side effects, especially if you're on prednisone, they have really bad side effects, cell set, etc, etc. There's tons of side effects. So I'm going to kind of let you guys know um, the severity of these side effects. And this is one thing that I was like worried about because a lot of people were talking about the side effects on the medication and this so forth and so forth. They weren't really going into detail, but I kind of um, know now from my own experience of what I've been dealing with personally. So I want to share that with you guys. These side effects can be very severe um, in some cases. And me personally, I'm only a year and a couple of months. So I haven't had like the whole longevity of the side effects so it's not too harsh on my body but one side effect that is huge and the doctors do mention it but they don't mention like the whole like I was saying severity of it and it's the weight gain so I know if you're on dialysis um, you might have lost a ton of weight because you went from being healthy to all of a sudden needing to rely on a machine so the weight your weight has probably dropped a ton. Um, if it's not, if it hasn't, like, good job for you. But I know from my experience when I was on dialysis, I lost a ton of weight. And when I got my transplant, I was down to 114. And I'm 5'7", guys. So that's, like, a little bit underweight. And I knew I wanted to gain, like, a little bit of weight, like, a weight that was healthy. However, guys, I'm 140 now. I've gained how many pounds? You guys do the math. I'm not that great of math. But I've gained all that weight. And honestly, it can be very uncomfortable and very self-discouraging in the beginning. I step on a scale about once a month. And it's not even to check my weight. It's because I have an infusion. I go once a month and they're kind of like checking my weight. And I've been working out for about six months already. I haven't lost any weight. However, I know I've gotten a lot more 
fit and toned and healthier because of working out. I know a lot of the fat that I had in my body has turned into muscle. Weight gain is something really big and I know a lot of us are dealing with weight gain if we are on prednisone or not even, you don't even have to be on prednisone. When a body is healthy, you're gonna be eating better, your appetite's gonna increase and you're gonna wanna eat. So I really wanna recommend that, be very aware of your weight and try not to overeat and try to really watch your portions because that will really help you in the long run. It's Sorry guys, we have to wait, there's a little helicopter flying. Okay. I live close to a police station and a hospital and I'm always hearing like helicopters. Oh my goodness. It's still going. Another side effect that I want to mention is the hair loss. They did not tell me about this at all whatsoever. They didn't tell me that my hair was going to fall out in excessive amounts. So yes, weight gain and hair loss, huge side effects that they kind of don't really tell you about that you need to be aware about because it's so important. You need to be on top of that because what I do for my hair is take biotin. Personally, I don't know if it has done too much, but I'm gonna keep taking it because I know some people are like, oh, biotin's like the best for your hair and nails. So I'm gonna just keep taking it. So yes, be aware that they will skim through the side effects. Um, they're not gonna go too into detail about it. At least on my experience, they didn't go into a ton of detail. Another one that I do wanna mention is that the first month or the first three months of your transplant will be the hardest months of your transplant because your body is going from a super high creatinine and all that toxic trying to clean itself so when a body is detoxing it's gonna have its ups and downs you're gonna be more prone to infection more prone to rejection more prone to just anything you are basically exposed to like everything your immune system is just getting a taste of how it's gonna be being to the lowest um you're it's just gonna be the hardest and not just even on the whole physical aspect as well as the whole emotional um, aspect about it because I don't know if you guys have seen my um, day by day transplant experience which I have vlogged. I have it on my channel um, and if you guys noticed that on day four of my transplant I cried. I broke down and I cried and Honestly, when I think about it and why I was even crying, I personally didn't even know why I was even crying. I feel like it was just such a long road that all types of emotions were just coming to me at once. I was in pain. I was happy. I was feeling tired. I was losing hope. And if you guys watch the videos, you guys will know why I was losing hope. Um, but... I was just kind of all over the place. My emotions were all over the place because I had just gone through basically two and a half years of dialysis and I was finally getting a transplant. So it was super emotional for me, guys. Um, so yes, it's going to be the hardest. Those couple months are going to be the hardest for you guys um, in all types of aspects. Like I was saying, you're just going to be prone to more and exposed to more. This is also going to be the time that you're most likely going to be in the hospital um, because my first three months of transplant, I was in and out of the hospital and I'm not the first person that has said that. I've heard this from a lot of people um, that you're just constantly in the hospital because like I was saying, your body is getting used to the transplant. I haven't really been hospitalized um, and I want to say a year or so, which is really good. <laughs> but yes, the first couple months are going to be your hardest month um they don't really tell you about the roller coaster that you are going to get on so i wanted to warn you guys a little bit if i could so yes my recommendation would be to just prepare yourself with prayer and to trust in god because the first couple months can be a little discouraging but after that it's going to be a breeze and you'll be fine another thing that i want to mention and i don't know if this is everywhere or if they do this at every hospital because my doctor said that every hospital is different on this rule and my hospital i'm really it's like a hidden blessing if that makes sense it's like a blessing in disguise at least in my case it was so after transplant they didn't tell me until like 
literally I saw on my chart that I had to get because um, I, I view my chart online I don't know if you guys do that it's just more convenient you could do your lab results and it's just more accessible because everybody or most people have Wi-Fi some way or another so I could check through my phone or through a computer anyways so I was checking that I had an appointment to get a biopsy and if you guys have ever gotten a biopsy which most likely you guys have biopsies can be really painful well what they don't tell you is that for a kidney transplant biopsy you are awake and oh my goodness it was painful I have videos of my biopsy and um, I want to show you guys so bad but I don't even know if I could show you guys because So in my hospital, what they do is that after you get a transplant, you have a biopsy three months after the transplant. And for this biopsy procedure, you are completely awake. Your nephrologist just, just sterilizes the area, puts um, lidocaine, lidocaine, I believe, and he gives about two or three injections of lidocaine and sticks the needle about this big into your kidney transplant area. So, so, so painful. Um, Never mind, don't listen to me, you'll be fine. They do one every three months and then a year after transplant and then after that it's yearly. Guys, I was not, I did not expect that. I thought all the pain of those needles or those operations was all done with. However, I had to get one yearly. And honestly, like I was saying before, it's a blessing in disguise because if they would have never done the three month biopsy that I would have never known that the autoimmune disease that I have, the MPGN, was killing my transplant. So a blessing in disguise, a little painful, but I saved it in the long run. So I'm very, very grateful for that. The last thing that I want to say is that overall, a transplant is not that difficult. I know the things that I am saying could sound a little scary or might sound a little difficult or hard. It's really not, guys. If you are doing dialysis, then dialysis is a hundred times more harder than having a transplant. If you guys seen my why I waited two and a half years to get a transplant, I mentioned why I waited so long. But on top of that, that I mentioned in the in the video, I was also scared to kind of deal with all the side effects with all the medications and everything because everybody just made it seem so hard. And in reality, guys, it's really not. Life is so much easier and so much better with a transplant. I almost feel like I have my life back. It's never going to be 100% back because monthly infusions, take medication twice a day, etc, etc. I had to adapt my body to a transplant patient's body rather than a healthy 23 year old that can do anything guys it's truly not that difficult and i encourage anybody out there if you guys are dealing with kidney disease and you had to pick between two treatment options i would quickly say transplant for so many so many reasons so yes guys it's really not that difficult and this video is not to scare anybody and this video is to encourage you guys so that is an overview of what they forget to inform us a little bit more about um, post transplant they are very good on going into detail and letting us know a lot of things but of course they're gonna miss some points so I want to share that with you guys and like I said earlier I was speaking from experience so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any video requests or any questions please don't forget to leave them in the comments down below I read everybody's comments and I'm very very grateful for each and every one of you guys thank you guys so much have a blessed and beautiful day